After a seven-year hiatus, passenger service has finally resumed on the main line of the Congo Ocean Railway connecting Pointe Noire to Brazzaville. One train per week has been connecting Congo's two largest cities since April 27th. I am at the central station of Brazzaville because I am waiting for a connecting train to go to the locality of Kibwende in the Pool region to give training to local communities there. I am happy that the train is back to this region of Pool. It was the destruction of bridges in the southern Pool region during clashes between the Congolese security forces and ex-ninja fighters that caused the closure of the line in 2016. Authorities reopened freight traffic in November 2018. Now residents from Pointe Noire from the western localities of Dolizy on Kaye can travel, thanks to the line commonly called the Gazelle. Many economic operators use the train line. Two of them, who embarked on the 510-kilometer-long journey lasting for 16 hours, expressed mixed feelings. We left Pointe Noire yesterday at 4 p.m. Given the state of the railway line, the train ran slowly until we arrived here in Brazzaville. Inside the train, frankly, the toilets leave a lot to be desired. I told the ticket inspector and the gendarmerie inside, I hope my observations will be considered. The rays of the Congo Ocean Railway are old, Transport Minister Honoré Saïe concedes. However, he also stated his ambition to launch refurbishment works. This railroad is not two years old. It has operated for a long time. Therefore, we have a lot of experience and have skilled personnel. Since it is a strategic corridor in the sub-regional transit, the railroad must move forward. This is a question for which we should not turn the difficulty into impossibility. The difficulty is there, but the impossibility can be overcome. I hope that with a major donor and determined Congolese, we will move forward. The railroad has long been the backbone of the Congolese economy. It could pride itself on being the only land route between Brazzaville and Pont Noir. However, it has recently been competing with a paved road built thanks to Chinese cooperation.